what's up it's me Renee and today I will be doing a different kind of video for you guys I did a poll on Twitter asking you if I should do this my favorite random things video and I asked you guys if it's something you think I should do or not nah, it's cool but 95% of you guys said yeah so let's do it I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite random things from different categories and I will try my best to be as quick as possible since this is quite a lot first let's start off with the music category of course so I will be sharing with you guys my family of instruments from the first uke that I ever got to the most recent one and yeah yeah so this is the first uke lady that I ever owned and her name is Ellie yes I do name my instruments because they're my family I think I got this um, last 2012 I'm not pretty sure but this is the first uke lady that I ever used when I started writing my first few songs. Oh, The second ukulele that I ever owned is not actually not mine at first, it was my brother's, but since he was young and he really didn't know what to do with his life yet, well he still is young until now, but he gave this ukulele to me and this one is named Bobby and he is just another, um, I believe this is a concert piece. I think this has been with me since I think 2012 as well. And I actually don't use this as much anymore. My mom uses this more than I do because she's slowly starting to learn how to play and this is what she uses. The third ukulele that I ever got is the first uke that I owned from Ukulele Manila and this is the concert ukulele and his name is Finn. I named him after Finn Harris from Jack's Cap because I love Finn Harris and I love Jack's Cap. And you can see that logo over there. If you want to check out more ukuleles like this, you should head over to Kubao Expo because that is where you will find ukuleles like this with such high quality and class, you know. To me, this is the first uke that I used for gigging since I started doing gigs when I was around 13 years old. I was a minor and of course, you know how gigs would always be in like um, bars or resto bars and I was like around 13 so I was the youngest so my mom would always be with me. Well, she still accompanies me till now. And before it was just really cute because I was the youngest to perform. I was just the minor there. Everyone else was like really old. But it was really good learning experience for me. It really did inspire me to work a lot more on like songwriting and performing. As time goes by, of course, you really do have to upgrade when it comes to your instruments. So for my 16th birthday, Ukulele Manila gave me another uke, and I'm pretty sure you know who she is. This is my custom made ukulele, and her name is Renee, since it has my signature on the fretboard and it would be weird if I named it another name. This is Renee and she is made out of mango wood which makes her super super classy. I love how she sounds and this is what I've been using for events, for my covers. You guys know her for sure. And of course she also does have a plug-in. And as you can see, this ukulele strap was just custom made by my mom. She is really talented when it comes to like arts and crafts besides like music and I have no talent in arts and crafts at all so this is what she have, she did for me it's just tied up here because like the uke is not really strong enough to like handle a hook for for the strap so this is my favorite one and this is what I use and what I will continue to use for the rest of my life so the most recent ukulele that I ever received was from a Korean follower and this is the uke that he sent to me and I'm actually not really familiar with um, the, the brand. It's called, it says here it's Loco Mango. I think that's the brand. But I love how it sounds, guys. It's really, it's really bright. And this is what I use when I just really want to like write songs at home or when I feel like playing. This is what is like, this is the instrument that's just like lounging around the house. And I love it. I don't think this is available in the Philippines because it's only exclusive in Korea. I'm not sure. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. So the next instrument that I have is the instrument that I'm pretty sure all of you guys know. This is my baby girl, Savannah. She is an Ovation Celebrity Edition guitar. And this is what I've been using for covers, for performances, for everything, since this is the only steel guitar that I have. I have three ones, including this, but the other two are classical guitars and I don't really use them as much anymore. When I first saw her, she was like, okay, I'm gonna name this girl Savannah because somehow it does remind me of like tropical things. And a lot of people really don't like 
turtlebacks because of how it like leans on your stomach when you perform or when you play. But I love this because of the sound quality and the turtleback has a lot to do with the sound quality of this one because like how the sound balances and everything. Um, I really don't know how to explain it. Uh, this guitar has a really nice quality, especially when it's like plugged in and you know when the sound system is great. Oh, it sounds like heaven. My mom and I really had to look for a hard case because Ovation doesn't really supply hard cases here in the Philippines anymore. And it's really hard to find one even in the States. But thankfully we did find a hard case for her. It's really heavy though, but I really did want to invest on a hard case because I'll, I've also been, you know, doing some singing engagements out of the, out of town and soon hopefully out of the country, which means I really do need to have a hard case to secure my instruments. So this, it has like two fragile stickers and it's my goal to actually fill this case with fragile stickers because it just shows that, hey, I've been to places. So it's, Okay, the next item is, of course, this Beatles guitar strap. This is their Yellow Submarine art, and the first time I saw this in JB, a few years ago, I instantly fell in love with it, and I just had to take it, and I love it so much, it really does add personality, and, you know, color, and joy, and love, and happiness to my guitar. So this next favorite item is, of course, something that I wouldn't be able to do covers without it is my it is my Samsung C01 USB condenser mic. I've had this for I think almost three years or two years. No, three years. But I love this USB mic so much, and of course we have to keep it protected. So that is all for the music category. So moving on to the next category, which is okay. So one thing that you guys don't know about me is I love makeup. I've been watching makeup tutorials since I was 11 or 12 or 10 and I'm not a makeup guru, I'm no makeup expert and I don't hoard makeup or collect makeup. It's just that I like, you know, playing around with products and I really do like the idea of makeup being a tool to really enhance, you know, your features and make you feel more confident. I don't see anything wrong with, you know, loving makeup as long as you know how to use it right and as long as you use it not to be a different person but to just really you know enhance yourself <laughs> i hope that made sense so i'm just gonna share with you a couple of the products that i love first on the makeup slash beauty slash lifestyle category is the cetaphil moisturizing cream and this is for the body, but I use it for my face and it works just as good, so it might as well. It really did help a lot um, in terms of like hydration and moisturizingness on my, face, on my face. This before I sleep, when my face is still pretty damp, I apply this so it won't be really sticky and it works really good for my skin. So I use this for my face and my body. My next favorite thing is this Benefit Professional Pro Balm. And this is a primer <laughs> that you use to prime your face. And this really does smoothen your pores. This helps your makeup, you know, last. And I love this. The next thing is this um, L'Oreal Paris Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation. And this really works good for me. And as you can see, it doesn't look as good anymore because I always use it. And so the next are cheek products. I naturally get red or pinkish when I'm, you know, when I'm sweating or when it's hot. But if you want to add a little more something, something to your face, some color, these are my <laughs> lip and cheek tints from Benefit as well. This is the Cha Cha tint, which is more on like the orange side, and this is the pinkish side, the Benefit one. And these are really long lasting and really good. It really gives you the most natural flush on your face if you want to be more red than you already are. So this is the only concealer that I use, but it's not really a concealer. This is the Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. It's perfect for those of you who just want like brighter looking eyes, but you really don't have to conceal anything. Next are bronzers. These are two of my favorite ones, and they're both in travel size. That's why I love it. This is the Hula Bronzer from Benefit as well. This is not a sponsored video, but I really love this bronzer so much. I've been hearing a lot about it like on YouTube. This 
this is the only bronzer that works well with my skin tone it doesn't leave me with pimples next is the Too Faced chocolate Soleil bronzer but it really does smell like chocolate and this, that's the only reason why I use this so my face can smell like chocolate these are my favorite lip products a lot of my friends have been telling me like why do you keep buying lipsticks when they're all in the same shade and I'm like no you do not understand first and my all-time favorite lip thing is this NYX um, soft matte lip cream in London and this works perfectly for my skin tone. The next are what I'd like to call investments because they're super expensive. Well, these are the Kylie lip kits. I got this from Fifth Hideaway in Instagram and they sell 100% authentic products and they got this from the actual Kylie Cosmetics um, website and this is um, an exposed and this one is in Dolce K, but I love Exposed more because it works well with my skin tone. This is more of like a mauve um, lip, lip, liquid. Lip. These are the uh, oh, these are the lip liners that come with it. As you can see I use it all the time. That's why it's really small. And it's sad because it's almost gone. But yeah. So oh yeah. So yeah. What you say? That's my guitar. No, that was not my guitar, guys. That's not my guitar. So the next few items that I'll be showing you are more on the accessories fashion side. Okay, this is my favorite Yankees cap. And I got this from New Era in Trinoma. And this is the only cap that I use. It's just a basic black um, baseball cap. And I love it. Next are just, you know, some watches. I do have a lot of watches because I'm not time, but I only use two of my watches. This one is the Casio vintage one, and this one is from Aldo. Next are sunglasses. These are the only two sunglasses that I use. I lost the case of this one, but I love this Sunny's um, sunglasses because it adds a lot of personality to your face if you don't have personality. And this one is more like simple, also from Sunny's. And yeah, my battery is blinking. Next item, I made sure to cop this kicks as soon as the hype has died down completely. Call me whatever you want, basic, whatever, but these are my favorite sneakers at the moment. I just got them recently and I know I'm super late, but I really plan to be super late on getting these. Ouch. On, the, on getting these kicks because I just want the hype to die down. I really didn't like the shoes at first because it was everywhere. I, like you'd see a lot of like fake or rep fake replicas of these shoes and it wasn't just really nice to buy one during that time. But I love it. Um, these are like classic superstars from Adidas. And I really made it a point that when I buy kicks, I really want it to be like those classic models and not the like the newer versions of kicks. I really want it to be dirty, that's why I use it every day. Next on the footwear category, this is what I use as an alternative for sneakers and these are my fluffy sandals from Ruby. Uh, but these are not house sandals guys, you know, super comfy and it really has like a statement, it has style and I love it so much. Lastly are my sandals, tribal sandals I believe from Topshop. I use this when I'm wearing like browns or like greens and stuff and it really also has a statement to it. I love things that give a statement gadget category and this is the only gadget that I'll be sharing with you guys. This is my, of course, my MacBook. My first MacBook got stolen and all my original songs were there and now they're gone. That was kind enough to give me another MacBook for my 18th birthday and this has been the best tool for everything and it has a marble case so yeah, I guess that is all. So that is all of my random favorite things that I want to share with you guys. I really did hope that you kind of got to know more about me by the little things that I share with you. Comment down below if you want to see more videos from me besides covers. Please do subscribe and share this video with your friends. Let's keep this family growing, you know? I actually, I'm actually, it's actually a goal of mine to get a silver play button soon. So can you guys help me earn 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year? I know we guys can do it, so please do help me. Share this video with your friends or whatever, let's keep this family growing and let's get to that 100,000 subscriber mark. Let's do this together. Bye guys. Mwah.